and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, brilliant that Jovial's extravaganza, Jovial's Sudoku Relay is out there now. Um, for people on Patreon, you can uh, access all 20 of his puzzles, although each one comes as you solve the last one. So you have to be able to get through 20 different variants. Send us the answer. Loads of people have done already. Some people very clearly, I was following the Discord briefly, some people very clearly stayed up all night solving these puzzles and one of them went to bed with a migraine at the end of it and I feel really bad about that. You don't have to solve them fast. We are going to uh, have a draw. We get it's on the 20th, so 20 days to do the 20 puzzles. One a day is the speed you need to go at. On the 20th, we will have a deadline and we will draw one person out of the hat to win the incredible um sudoku cushion created by anita that features the first puzzle of the hunt on it i mean i can't believe the crochet work that's gone into that absolutely fantastic my mum used to do tapestry and she would have been blown away herself by that so uh really interesting and i honestly think that those puzzles are proving incredibly popular they have been pitched as genuinely approachable and I think they all are, but one or two just need you to stick at them a bit to uh, to get to get through them. I don't think any of them have fiendish break-ins or anything like that, but you do need to work. Um, I thought the third one was quite hard. I remember, I remember that. So if you're getting stuck on the third one, persevere. Anyway, that's what's going on on Patreon, as well, of course, as Simon's um, incredible StarCraft video over there. So that is worth seeing too. Um, I think our Patreon site is well worth joining personally. But um, anyway, on the channel, we have loads of other stuff. And every week or so, the Discord guys recommend one or two puzzles from Discord. And this week, or actually a couple of weeks ago, I'm a bit late, they recommended one. Uh, that Prasanna did, and they recommended it specifically for me. I'm not absolutely sure why. I have two theories here. One is that um, Prasanna is very good at setting kind of um, competition level puzzles, which is to say hard without being brutal, something like that. Um, so you can get them done in 10 minutes in a competition if you're good. Or you can struggle with them for half an hour or more if they're a bit harder. So I'm not expecting to do this in 10 minutes. I don't think they'd have recommended it if I was likely to. However, I do have another theory, which is that Prasanna has got wind of the fact that I hate liar puzzles. I'm terrible at them. And this puzzle is a liar puzzle. Uh, there was a round of liar puzzles at the last Indian version of the Sudoku, the World Sudoku Championships. And I lived in fear of it. I got through it. I got a few puzzles done, but I certainly don't like the idea that one or more clues in a puzzle is just wrong. It bothers me. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if they've recommended it because I'll hate it or if they'll recommended it because I like it. And, uh, I don't know. I guess, actually, I'm not really even aware of different styles of solving, although I saw Kodak interestingly pointed out yesterday that uh, I seem to get deductions in a kind of opposite way to the way Simon would. And I'm not really conscious how that works, but you guys are probably experts now. You've been watching us for a while. Maybe somebody will tell us or just observe it again. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's have a look at the rules for Prasanna's puzzle. Quick thinking liar. Now, I have named this. Ah, I've named this because this was apparently part of a speed setting competition. I think these happen occasionally on Discord. And uh, I think Simon's already done the winner of this particular competition. But Prasanna did this as well. And Prasanna, I think, said in the, in the notes for this puzzle when it was posted on Discord that he'd actually only used half the time. So I believe that this was set in half an hour. So I guess that's my target for solving it, is about the same time as it took to set. But frankly, that's incredible. I mean, Prasanna would solve it in far less time than I would. He is absolutely world class. But um, if I can get through it in half an hour, I will be delighted. But anyway, let's, let's have a look. The rules are these. Uh, normal Sudoku rules do apply. That's fine. Numbers must not repeat in a killer cage. And the numbers in the cage must sum to the given total. 
so far so ordinary, but there is exactly one cage in the grid where the condition is broken. Either the sum is incorrect, or digits are repeated, or both. So that's pretty clear. There's one lying cage. It's up to the solver to find out which it is. The purple lines in the grid are incomplete arrows. The digit on one end of the line is the sum of the other digits on the same line. So if you're familiar with arrow Sudoku, you have to imagine a circle on one or other end of these arrow lines. Um, and that's it. So give it a try. I think this will be approachable. I don't know. Uh, you can judge from the video length. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. So we've got some 30s, which would be 9876 if they weren't liars, but it's a risk. We've got some 12s, which would have to have 1 and 2 in. Ah, well, this is... Okay, here... Let me... Instinct immediately tells me there is something wrong here. Let me work out why and explain it. Okay, the simple way to see why is these two cages add up to 9. Now, they the minimum of four different digits that have to be in this box is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So we have already identified that one of the liar cages is those two. Sorry, that the liar cage is one of those two. That's what I'm trying to say. And therefore, all the other cages are genuine. So I think we're away here. That means we can... I mean, that's, that's great if you see it early on. If you don't, or if you don't immediately recognize that a four and five together in a box is wrong, and my, sort of, I've solved killer puzzles for a number of years, a lot of years, and that just looked screwy straight away. That's why I'm kind of calling it instinct anyway. We get those right. This 28 cage, ah, this 28 cage has a, a nine and eight in it as well. Oh. A nine and eight in it as well. It's either nine eight seven four or nine eight six five. Now there's a nine and eight in there. There's a nine and eight in there. So nine and eight can't be anywhere in row three in those cells. Also not in this cell because this is an arrow and it can't have an eight or a nine as part of its sum. Um, yes, right. It also cannot have a seven here. You couldn't. You couldn't have a 7 in this position because that's part of the sum of the arrow. 7 plus that plus one end equals the other end. And since the two other addenda can't be 1s, that can't be a 7. Now what that means is that there is a 7 in these cells, obviously here, and there is not a 7 in this cage, which is therefore 9865. To make 28. Now we've got a 6 in that cage and a 6 in that cage. We get a 6 here. Now this must be 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals 9. The 9 can't be in this cage because of that pair. So we are away. That is now an 8, 6 cage, uh, which fixes the 9 and 8. Where does 8 go in this column? It goes on this line which must therefore be an 835 arrow, which doesn't have 8 in the middle. We've got a 4-7 pair there. That fixes the 6 cage. This is a very clever puzzle. I mean, I feel like I'm literally killing it, but only because I got a bit lucky with what I spotted early on. This is a 2-3-1-5, so we can put the 2-3 pair in since we were able to place them in the central box. 149 up here. No, that's wrong. 145. Read more carefully. So we've got a 2 3 pair there. Now I haven't done shading of high numbers, which I was thinking about, but it's probably too late to bother. Right now, 4, 6, 7, and 8 to place in the row. Can we work out the 16 cage? What are the possibilities? 8. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 1, add up to 26, take off 10, so they don't have 4 and 6 in. Is that right? It must be 1, 5, 7, 8? Yes, it must. I think it must. No, it mustn't, because 1, 5, 7, 8 does not add up to 16, idiot. Um, right, let's do that maths again. The candidate, the six candidate digits add up to... I'm <laughs> such a clots sometimes. Um, the six candidate digits do not add up to 21. They add up to 
31. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 is 30, uh, plus 1 is 31. So we need to remove 15. That's 8 and 7. So the, the, this cage is made up of 6, 4, 5, 1. And that feels a lot better as a sum. So we get the 4. That fixes the 6 and the 4. 8 and 7 in the row somewhere. That can't be 6. This is a 1, 4 pair to fill the box. Um, ah, there's a 1 in this 12 cage, and it's not there. So it's in one of these places. Still, I mean, we just can't even approach these liars. They're beasts, and I want nothing to do with them. And that's flat. Uh... Three, five, eight. Ah. So there's got to be a nine in this box, and it's got to be there. It can't be in the 12 cage. Three, five, eight, nine. Now there's got to be a six in the box. It's got to be here. So this is a six, one, two, three, um, 12 cage. There are two possibilities for 12 cage. One, two, three, six, and one, two, four, five. This is probably going to be the other one. Yes, 1, 4 must go there, and 2, 5 here. And that's going to fix 1 and 5, 4 and 1. That fixes 2 and 1, which fixes 2 and 3. And we're just rocking around the grid. What a lovely puzzle. I mean, I love the way this comes together. 5 up here has been fixed in that box. Um... Hmm. Ah, okay, look, this five cage is the liar. How do I know that? Let me just um, prove it. The five cage is the liar because a five would have to be made up of either one four, impossible, or two three, impossible, because it would break this cell. So the five cage is the liar, so the four cage is genuine, which is useful information. Um, we can just ignore this cage entirely now. It's got no meaning for us. It's dead to us. We hate it. One three pair in the row. We get a four and a one. That's a five, in fact, thanks to that one three pair as well. In fact, we don't need it to be a one three pair. We can fix the threes and ones given the one we got. That is six and two. So this is all coming clear. Eight and three. That arrow works. We can't have a six there. That is seven, eight, or nine, proving that evil liar. Um, two must be here. We've got a five, four pair in the... Uh, can't press the buttons. Now, these add up to 12. Ah, but this can't be one, two, three, four, five, or six. So that's seven, eight, or nine. These are from one, two, and three. Hmm. How, how do we fix? Maybe I need to look at this. It has one, the total is from seven, eight, and nine. It's got a five on it, hasn't it? Oh, well, it's got a five on it. Okay, hang on. That fixes this one five pair. That does nothing else. So it's either five plus two equals seven or five plus three equals eight. So the nine in the box is here, right. So these two add up to three. Now, one, two, four, six, nine, it's from three, five, seven, and eight. So it's a three, five, eight set. Doesn't have eight in the middle because it's an arrow. Seven there, eight there. Fixes this. We can probably do this arrow now. Three, five, eight, one, six. So we've got two, four, seven, and nine. I think that's got to be two, seven, nine. Four, seven. We've got three, four, six to fill in here. Three and a four, six pair. That's cool. Now, that has become an 8. That's handy. That's a 7. Uh, we've got this 3, 5 pair. They're fixed. Yes, OK. That fixes 1, 5. That fixes 1, 2. Actually, the 2 would have fixed that a while ago. They can't have a 7. This can't be a 9. Um, looking over here again then, this is a nice little naked single, six, eight there, six, nine pair fixes this four, that's an eight, we've got seven, four, nine up here, which goes four and a seven, nine pair, 
6 there. So that's not 6 or 8. Ooh, this is holding out. Right, 3 and 2 in the middle. 7 and 4 up here, they're resolvable. 3 and 5, we can do them as well. Ooh, have we got enough information to finish this off? Oh yes, this 20 cage, of course we do. 10, 13, so we get a 7 there. The liar cage should have said 13, you little liar. Um, that's a 6, 8 pair, 9 in the corner, 6 and 9. That is a lovely puzzle. I mean, thank you for recommending that. I'm sorry if I went a bit quickly. I didn't expect to get that solved in what was effectively about 10 or 11 minutes. But I think, a, you know, spotting the liar quickly was really helpful. And I admit that was a pretty quick deduction about the 9-8 pair there and then what this had to be. But that really gave access to the puzzle. So if, if you took longer than me, and you might not have done, um, it was probably just the familiarity with what makes up a 28 cage, for instance. I know that there's always a 9-8 in a 4-cell 28 cage, and then either 7 and 4 or 6 and 5. So it really is just a matter of experience sometimes. But a really interesting puzzle. I'm delighted that that was recommended. Very well done. Like, remember, Prasanna set that in half an hour. And it's it's symmetrical, it's um, it's intricate, it's elegant. It's amazing to me that people can do that. Um, I'm really impressed. He is indeed a quick-thinking liar and one of the very best. So thank you for watching on Cracking the Cryptic as always and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.